right, welcome back to another Life is Strange episode. Welcome to episode three. Where we left off, we have to go find Gabe's son, unfortunately. Um, we literally decided to make the choice not to tell him, which kind of makes him dishonor of us, to be honest. So we already know the issues with this one, so... That means uh, he's going to have a hard time trusting us again uh, with telling us the actual truth or telling him the actual truth. I'm really messed up in words right now. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, let's get into it. Ethan? Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex. This way. Wow. Been a while since I was up here. Should I be... I don't know... freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? We'll touch base with the safety team up at the site. They're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh, at least we're not racing the clock. Hey, you good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? I should have... said something earlier. I didn't. I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine... Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. It's not your fault. Yeah... still, though. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can... do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Something tells me those two weren't the best match. <laughs> oh boy, we have... Uh... Did some pretty bad. I ain't gonna hold you. Open gate. Take a look. Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. Ah, valuable point. Uh. Oh. Oh. Hello. Jesus. Oh, we can run. Hello. Notice. They were gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Typhoon Mining Co. Blasting notice. Automated blasting to take place. Date, Sunday, April 28th, 2019. Time, 9 o'clock p.m. Warning, sirens should, will sound prior to the uh, detonation in the areas within blast radius. Do not enter blast area. Permit, uh, no, number R-555. There we go. We have a lot going on here. Maybe we can find something around here. I doubt it, though. I love how they added a little bit of a running animation to this game. I think the last time you was only able to run around. Uh, no, sorry, walk around. Cool. Excuse me. What? A murder barn. Ha. <laughs> Good one. Safety poster. Nope. 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 
supernova. Ha! I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at what we got here. Hey, bro. Wanna get wasted at the old mine? How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? The I have no monster clue. here is underage drinking. You don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murdery. That says a lot. A helmet. It's pretty beaten up. Wonder what happened to it. It's pretty beaten up. Wonder what happened to it. Interesting. They're making us head towards this part. Mine carts. Hello. Probably not as fun to ride in as they look. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that would be the case. Alright. Let's see. Uh let see. Wow. Once Ethan's safe, I'll raise one too. We'll raise our drinks to Jed Lucan, who at this location at or sorry, on December thirtieth, two thousand and eight, pull us out of hell. That's cool. All right, look. Imagine being trapped down there. Or actually, don't. Uh, what happened here? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site. Basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Oh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... So let's see. So I have to find another way in. Nothing obvious. Maybe we should notice anything. No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. Ethan put you in his comic, didn't he? Compare. So if the zombie is here, then... Zombie's right there, which he's pointing at the direction outside the gate. He if Ethan really followed the path in his comic, finding him just became a lot more doable. He would take him more. It would lead him to the open gate, away from him onto the... Yeah, onto the left, which is right here. Is there something behind it? If you think about it, he did say say that that's part of the gate. What are you looking Wait, at? so did Ethan? Oh man. Oh boy, he probably did. I think there's like a side door back there I don't know you can guess there might be give me a hand okay
Ethan, you're a genius. This kid. You figured that out from a comic book. Ethan's giving us clues to where he is. That says a lot. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Got it. Hmm. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? We'll take a look around. Maybe there's some comparisons to the comics. It seems like a slight chance, but... Kinda wanna push all the buttons. Also, kinda scared to push any of the buttons. Stairs. Oh yeah. These look safe. Wait a minute. Oh. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty yeah. sure Ethan climbed these stairs. Not sure. I'm gonna have a look. Interesting. Metal sheet. So if we go, go directly to the sheet. Let's move the sheet. Oh, I should have just moved the damn sheet. All right. So let's head up here real quick. Because he would have had to, and I repeat, he would have had to, had to go directly up the stairs, directly up these stairs. Then, huh, window. That's odd. Because that would have meant he would have actually went through that particular window. That doesn't, wait a minute. The silo. We're getting close. He must have went through the conveyor belt. Because think about it. Reminds me of the snake thing in Ethan's comic. He probably went directly towards towards the conveyor belt. He climbed it, took it directly towards the silo. Yikes. Yikes, brother. Ethan may be in trouble. So, that means he took it all the way towards the silo. That definitely means Ethan he took it. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. I think I'll find another way through. You might want to. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Yikes. Says a lot. Mother of God. Maybe there's some way to open the door. So this place was a death trap when it was operational too. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Kind of figured. I knew that was going to happen in the first place. Ah, uh, there's a door wasn't in the comic good luck okay i'll stay out but not because you told me to ha rebel anyway um weird so let's head back down it's very clear that ethan ran off and he jumped on the conveyor belt and it, thing must have been super damaged so he had to have gone someplace else and once he went to the other side of the conveyor belt he must have went all the way towards the silo which is just crazy to me how in the world this kid is capable of doing that. Just saying. This thing has seen better days. That's a fact. Ryan seems like he knows what he's doing. Glad he's here. All right. Thanks for nothing, giant yellow button. Uh, well, that says a lot. But, um, hmm. Okay, now we have to find a way to open the door. Or there's probably some other way to reach the other side of the conveyor belt. Unless this, unless this debris says something, but I doubt it because uh, it's not even close to what it is. But there was also a door uh, on the other side that I must have missed. Because I saw it directly. And I'm pretty sure, yep, yeah, right here. Is, wait, no, oh, no, 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 uh, we can't go through that door. Shit, okay, never mind. Um, we passed caution like an hour ago. That's a fact. <laughs> that is a goddamn fact. Um, floor panel. Not in the comic. Not in the comic, good to know. 
Uh, okay. So, chain hoist. Oh, hello. There has to be a way to get that back door open. Oh, right here. Heads up. That makes a lot more sense. I was wondering what exactly we had to go to find to open this up. So yeah. You figured out the door. Nice. Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? The wonders never cease. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. That is weird though how that works. Hmm. Talk about irony though. Talk about irony. I wonder if it actually had that capability. I don't know. Maybe. You never know. Let's just get this going though. Come on, Ryan. Looks like we're gonna have to reach the silo. Let's leave. Gabe? What took you so long? How did you get? Oh. You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? You have to reach the silo now. Right here. We have to reach the silo. Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. If he's heading that far out, that's gonna be crazy. <sighs> this kid is full of ideas. Yikes. I uh, wouldn't be that surprised if that would be the case, though. This kid will figure out anything. We close? Think so. Ethan! 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 Oh, there he is. Oh, sweet God. What the hell? Ethan! Alex! I'm scared! Ethan, I'm coming for you, buddy. Wait. Hold on. Here. Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Fear is so strong. If I get near it, it's no good. We're too heavy. Shit. I knew it. Damn. That sucks for both of us. What about me? Alex. Are you sure? <sighs> this is where it gets tough. I don't like this. Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. You okay? <sighs> Honestly, no. Honestly? No. There it is. That feeling makes sense. Do me a favor, though. See if you can breathe. Great. As long as you keep doing that, everything's gonna be fine. Oh, boy.
Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady, steady is fast. Piece of cake. <laughs> I'm kind of scared myself. I don't like this. Oh. oh. Come on. Alex, you got it. You got it. If this is where I have to control, I'm going to lose my mind. Please. Hang on, Ethan. I'm coming. Ooh. Steady. You got this, Alex. Steady, 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 Alex. Oh You'll get hurt. Not without you. I'm not going back without you. You're stuck with me till we're both safe. Care, got it. I'm trying. Just gotta reach it. Real close. Just a little further. Got it. You know hey, I do. Ethan. I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! Shit. It's too much. I have to get him to chill out. <sighs> Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here! I was so stupid! Okay, hey. Focus. Talk to me. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. The log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter. He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to- It'll see me. If I move, it'll see me. What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, boy. I can do this. I can do this. feels. I'm seeing the world like he sees it. Damn it. Um. I Gordon would be afraid, afraid, but he's just he's a story. Just a this is real. This is real. It's real. Uh. I brought all this brought stuff. All this stuff. None, None of it will save, save me. Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. He's afraid of... Shit. Can't let it see me. Can't let it see me. It can't be real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. 
The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. But Ethan, we're safe. You know why? It can't see me. Bangla vanishing, just like Ninth Warden. I thought that was just a story. Well, some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Come on, Ethan, you got it. You got it, buddy. Ethan, come on, buddy. You got this. Come on. Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. <sighs> oh, <laughs> my heart. Not over yet. <sighs> Not over yet. Come on. Oh God. Okay. One step at a time. Oh. <sighs> okay. We got it. <sighs> you got it? Right on time. Alex? Yeah, buddy? I'm still really scared. <sighs> There's nothing to be afraid of. I got you. But what if you let go? Shit. <sighs> Trust me. We got this. Do you this. think the log will break? It's stable. Trust Don't me. Don't worry. I got all the way across before, remember? It could still break! Our emotions are connected. I need to keep him calm. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We got it. Stay looking up. We got this. Oh my god! This reminds me of Soma so fucking much! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Just stay. They're good, man. Tight grip. They're close now. Oh boy! Oh shit, I'm panicking. I'm panicking hard. That's it. Got you. you go. I got you. Got it. Got it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so fucking afraid. <laughs> That is not good, bro. That is not good. They weren't supposed to start the sirens until now. Damn it. 
I was not expecting that. <sighs> That's the end of the chapter. Fuck. This is not good. <sighs> Fuck. 46% literally should have told Gabe about Ethan's plan. I'm such an idiot. I, sh I should have just... I should have just told... I should have just told him, but... I didn't think that any of this was going to happen at all. I didn't think any of this was going to happen. Fuck. Alex didn't find... Of course, they 96% literally did that. Didn't interact with the gnome. Well, what do you want us to do? Do I was literally just trying to skip through the chapters. <laughs> I was just trying to focus on the story. <sighs> Damn it. Chapter two. Lanterns. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before, until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh. And the fifth time... He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger, but he left it as family. <clears throat> Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe? was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. 
You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister. Alex heard the whole thing. He's right. He, Gabe did call. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that... we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying. Pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Okay, maybe the call got dropped. Oh, shit, I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, and... Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... I'm not the one who killed him. Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. That's it. Break's over. Everyone out. Alex? Hey, fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? Hell no. God, no. I'm a fucking wreck. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you, um, it's messy, but do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Eh, used to. Yeah, well, sorta. I used to. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious.
Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. We took this a year ago. We... Sorry. No way. I can't. What? We actually kept it. made her think of it really messed her up I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan probably I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her Charlotte's sculpture I wonder how she's really holding up What's really going on with Steph? Huh. I guess the first things first is, uh. Huh. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm! Badass! Huh. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. <laughs> you just lost 50 bucks. This dude is hilarious. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion. Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Is that why she's angry? Seriously? Oh, well. Steph? Uh... Sorry. This is so embarrassing. I just need some time. Okay. Her sadness is so strong. I hope I can help. What else? What's this? Oh! Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? Jesus. She couldn't be serious with that, could she? Mother of God. Um, I mean, I guess that makes sense, but damn. That's just, uh, that's just rather sad, man. God damn. Um, guess we should look at this. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. I think I know enough to help her now. 
still can't believe he's gone. Yep. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. Um... talk about the music. I could put on a record, if you like. Nah, not really in the mood. Maybe something else? I guess I should probably mention the foosball. a quick match. Did Gabe tell you we played? Eh, yeah. Yeah. And he said he kicked your butt. <laughs> Asshole. I don't really think it's a great time. <laughs> Funny. First to five points, if you say so. Uh, wait. Do we actually have to play it? Oh no! This so, is gonna... how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. Ah, he, uh, defenders. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You were Woo. in a band, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, what did uh, you play? Woo. Drums. Oh wait, hang on. I gotta remember. Is it R one? Yes, it is. How uh, how long did you play with them? Ah, <laughs> too long. Oh Jesus! Gotcha. Nay, 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 nay. That was a save too. Ah, nay. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> that was so uneasy. Ah! He's dirty. Damn it! Oh God! Oh God! Oh Oh God! Jesus! Oh, hold on. That was just awkward. Oh, God! Oh! No! No! I love my life. Wait, hang on. Was it R1? Damn, it was R1. Oh, there it is. Oh, damn it! Okay, got it. Woo! That was a good strike. Woo! Damn it! No! No! I... Ooh, good one. Five points. That's game. Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? <laughs> it's great playing okay, with you. Okay, okay. Joking aside, playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. Again? Oh, good lord. No. Uh. Oh, hello. Nay! Oh! I'm actually trying this time, so you better Don't focus. you fucking dare! Oh, hell! Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Woo! Certainly not. Nay! Nay! Oh! Yeah. Oh wait, I forgot how. To... Okay, there we go. Okay, wait. The greatest oh! Northwest band of all time. Go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? No. Oh, 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 oh. Of course not. Goalkeeper, back. Slater, Kenny. If you were wondering. Oh! Oh! I... Oh no! Nay! Nani? Oh! Oh! I? How? Wow! She actually caught me on this one. Nay! Oh God! 
Oh wow, that's hilarious. Mother. Yeah. Oh wait, there we go. Oh no. Okay. I love how I messed that up immediately. Game point. Game. Fuck it. Ah no. Nay. Well, there it is. Oh, GGs. Yes. GGs. <laughs> Let's do one more game. I don't know. Oh, come on. You know Gabe would never let a tie stand. Well, then it's settled. Well, then it's settled. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is it. For all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on. What? No matter what happens. Did anyone not see that bullshit just happen? Uh, oh, mm, no. And the defense? Hello? Hello. Hey, so are you into girls or what? Fuck! Yep. <laughs> yeah. Girls are pretty rad, right? Especially girls that play foosball and host radio stations um, and wear beanies. Like it's uh, a religion. <laughs> Sounds like a winning problem. Oh, no! <laughs> I am sucking right now. Oh, okay. Who's what? Ay, yay, 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 yay! Hey! Oh, the... Uh, what? What? Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. How old are you exactly? Old enough to know better. The... Damn it! No! Oh! Ah! Uh, 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 oh! No! What? How did, how did I not miss my goalkeeper? <laughs> oh, fucking finally! The house of Chen crumbles at last! Good game. Good game. Thank you. You're a much better loser than Gabe. That's no fun. Uh. Sorry to spoil the victory. If you want to take it, go ahead. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? Uh, definitely a liar. No question. I knew he was a jerk, but this is another level. I think I need to prove that he's lying. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. You go ahead then. Oh. Bye. Later. Bye. That's gonna be interesting. <sighs> All right. Swear is gonna have to hold off then. Jesus. I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? I wouldn't guarantee it. But I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys want to see more of this, make sure to leave a like. Also hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. As always, it's been Zed, guys. Later.